Hey, welcome back to a new Pizza the Ray tutorial. Today I will show you how you can easily create a hologram with geometry nodes. So let's go. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene. And today I think we will use here our Suzanne. And what we also need is a iconosphere here right now. And let's make the subdivisions to one. That's cool. Um, yeah, make our iconosphere invisible. And now we um, yeah, want to add a geometry node uh, modifier on our Suzanne. Um, let's do this here really quick. And now we can hit into geometry mode, geometry nodes mode, nodes mode. Uh, okay, and let's search here for instance point instance put this one here between these nodes and let's select here our iconosphere and yeah this one these iconospheres are really big so we have to search for a point scale let's put this one here between the group output and the point instance and for later adjustments let's uh, yeah put here our vector to the group input so we can here adjust uh, this really easy. Okay, so uh, let's hit into the shading tab and maybe let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, change here the factor to something like 0.01 and 0.01 and 0.01, so. <laughs> We have here some really tiny dots, but I think we have to add uh, a subdivision surface um, to get more of these points here. So let's uh, put this one above the geometry node setup and you can see now we have here some more dots because we are having here um, more subdivisions right now. So. Um, I yeah, I like to put this one to level two. And now we have here more dots. And um, yeah, for a holographic style, um, I scaled this Z axis a little bit. And, um, and the X and Y, scale has to be a little bit smaller so the density is a little bit thinner so let's add a zero here and now we have some nice grid here and what there are two ways to um yeah add it here a texture um now so um the easy one is to or yeah the easier one is uh, here to add a uh, yeah, a new texture, which we can uh, here. Um, so I had to go to uh, rendered mode now, so now we can see it. Um, here we can change the texture of the iconosphere, and um, yeah, make this something bluish here right now, and increase the emission strength. Maybe let's go to the bloom here, and now we have some nice glow here inside. Um, maybe we can adjust the um, the scale here of, I, of our iconospheres a little bit more, so we have some really tiny lines. Um, so and when you're increasing here, you get here these cool holographic 3d style now um yeah this one will also work uh with cycles so this is no problem and uh, now i will show you the uh, second way how to texture this one here so let's get rid of the uh, iconosphere texture here and we have to go to the susan and add a skin modifier here and now we can add a new material here to this one and as you can see here now the whole susan gets um uh yeah a new color but i like to um 
add a little bit of a gradient to um, this holographic so maybe it's a little bit brighter here in the in the bottom and it gets a little bit darker to the top so um, and I want to put this into the emission strength so first of all we have to go to color ramp let's put this one here into the emission and now we need a texture setup which we can um, get here by pressing ctrl t if you're uh, using the node wrangler plugin let's get rid of the image texture because we don't need this here and now we have to change uh, from uv to generated here and because we want to um, have here as you can see the gradient is a little bit <laughs> um yeah not straight um we have to separate this one and that's easy because we have to uh, look for a uh, separate xyz put this one here into the between these nodes and we want to use the z value and now you can see here we have a cool gradient and maybe let's change this here to our bluish light color and this one here to bluish darker and now we can adjust this here a little bit more so maybe let's put this one here into the base color as well and yeah now we have here a cool holographic um holographic style and the cool thing about um, the geometry nodes is when you're um, putting this uh, or when you want to put this onto another um, maybe this iconosphere here uh, maybe that sphere here so you can go to geometry nodes select this one here um, and yeah do the same thing again maybe to something like this and decrease these numbers here so maybe something like this don't forget to add a um, subdivision surface here right now and yeah a skin modifier and now you can choose here our second material and now you have this holographic style here for another 3d mesh yeah that was easy yeah that was the short holographic tutorial i hope you like this one and if you have any questions please let me know see you next time and bye bye